are you even doing here? Doesn't seem like Ox. No. But we can hardly just leave her. Attention, Ark. The false Fonby team in Zone Breach has a base. Code F is hereby reset. Alert levels back to normal. Hooray! Smarter than me will. No point Literally in everyone's smarter than you. Base, Good hands there. Anyway, what do you think they're going to do about our signification mission? I know I brought it up. So I'm not too worried, really. I feel like it's going to work <laughs> out fine. You know what? You and pretty much every other parent. I'm going to relax in the lobby for a bit. Later, mate. Mate. Sounds fancy. I might just do that. Hey, hey, but tell me. So, about the girl. She's unusually taciturn. Are you saying she's a vegetable? <laughs> Did you tell her your name? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. I, I saw all your posts. Matoy. There's no record of that name in our database. At the very least, we know there's no registry info for her in ARCS. Is she from another planet? Her bio patterns were a near perfect fit for ARCS. Curious indeed. Matoy, indeed. Can you tell us where you're from and what you were doing on that planet? Uh, uh, oh, goodness. Did I spook you? Sorry. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh my gosh, it's been, it's been, it's been really cute, yet, yet really sad at the same time. So, um, so my younger daughter, she, she mentioned this a couple times. I'm actually gonna take my shoes off here. One second. I take my cycling shoes off. Um, so, so she, she has actually said a couple times explicitly. I wish I was younger. I was like, why do you wish you were younger? Because we did so many fun things last year. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, sweetie, this year was barely half over. I know, this year was not cool, okay? There's a lot of not cool things that happened this year, and that globe just totally phased right through her face. That's just wonderful. It's like you're imprinted on her or something. Well, we did kind of save her. No, I'm not certain. I have no idea. That makes this all the more puzzling. We can hardly just leave her, though. You've got ARC work to do, so I can't expect you to stick around indefinitely. Would you mind leaving her in my care? I don't and think I have a choice. You'll be the first to know. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I haven't I haven't been keeping up uh too much with Hollow, but yeah, I know. I I can I can only imagine. All right. Oh, oh, wow. Yeech. All right, we'll do, we'll do ruins. We're just going to go out. Uh, Mag's going to keep feeding our mags. Ugh. No, trust me, I know all about those. Uh, we had the Colby Trail fire, like, literally on the hillside. Check out a group chat. Let's do that. So that took care of that. Oh. Uh, yeech. That is definitely never good. Yeah, car troubles. Ugh. <laughs> All right, there is a. Uh, quest to do something at a casino. We'll knock that out pretty quick. We're also going to pull out all of our casino. Okay. Bet a little or bet it all. The choice is yours. Make those dreams come true and have a blast along the way. Okay, so I've already tried that shooter game.
Hooray! All right, we're good. I'm good with that. There you go. Oh, I should have grabbed that. Oh, I should have grabbed the client order. I totally forgot about that. Dang it. So there's the free drink stand. my level up. We're going to deposit these. All right. Um, okay, so... All right, looks like we'll do... We'll do one more. We'll do one more of these story missions, and then we'll call it. Actually, we'll check. <laughs> well, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. The thing to understand about the whole coronavirus lockdown thing was... Literally, the lockdown was supposed to be to reduce the amount of people in the hospitals. We did that. We did that so well that hospitals are laying people, are furloughing people left and right, and uh, there are 
people that just simply aren't going to the hospitals at all. So the hospitals are, for the most part, like for 90% of the country, there's nothing going on at hospitals. So so kind of the... the No, there are states that have overcrowded hospitals. Yes, there are. But that is the minority, though, of the hospitals. So the so kind of the problem is, is they went so far to restrict hospital usage that, like, people can't get, like, normal screenings. Like, they can't get cancer screenings and they can't get, uh, you know... Uh, standard like hip surgeries it's very hard to get a hip surgery right now just because they they can't do it hey, so it's like they went so far to restrict everything that it's re the the consequences of that are really starting to compound right now it's just like yeah yeah so it's i don't know it's just so weird it's just so weird i just, i mean personally i feel like i feel like the restriction should be eased off just because, yes, there are people who are getting sick from it. They're, they're contracting it still. But that's because we've upped our game in the testing area. So when you test a lot of people, you're going to find out a lot more people have it. I, because it's, it's viral. I mean, it's a, very, it's a very, con, you know, very contagious disease. But they are finding that relatively not a, a lot of people are not... Uh, you know, they're not seriously getting sick from this. And not only that, they're kind of... Well, your government fully owns and operates the medical system. <laughs> no, I, I honestly, the problem is, is the, the experts are all rushing to say stuff that they're not really making sure what they're saying is accurately correct. <laughs> I just find it very hard to believe the experts right now. That's that's my honest problem. Uh, this person looks a lot stronger than you, Patty. Oh, that's us. What we operatives need right now isn't the boring old skill. It's knowledge and information. Mm. Am I right? Um, actually, actually, it is the experts themselves that are contradicting each other. Like, for instance, face masks. I mean, the, the very easy example is face masks. Back in February, they say, they said, oh, well, the average person doesn't have to have face masks. I mean, don't buy face masks because they don't work for you. And this was all the media, all the experts. Everyone was like, don't use masks. That's stupid. Only the healthcare workers should be using masks, not the average person. And then in like end of March, they're like, everybody must wear a mask or grandma will die. It's like, okay, so are we supposed to wear masks now or then? I mean, there was no, there was no, like, like, logical explanation for it. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. But, but they were so definitive. My problem is, is there, there's no mea culpa. There's no, oh, hey, you know, we kind of learned that this. It's, it's, it's always just like, don't do this. You must do this. But there's no why. There's no really good explanation as to why. It, it it just really seems like they're making this crap up as they go, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with them saying that make this stuff up as you go. But when, when they're like, well, you must trust all experts and don't question them. Oh, okay. I know experts in civil engineering that still make really crappy decisions. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's just... And, and the other thing, too, is, I mean... Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. I think that's where I was going with this. The one thing... The one... Okay, and then the ultimate, the absolute ultimate, is with the Black Lives Matter protests. Literally. So last week, we had all the protests everywhere. Hundreds of thousands of people flooding the streets. You know, just like, oh, you know, everyone's protesting, everyone's protesting. Literally, the week before that, there were a fraction of the people out protesting saying, hey, I'd like to go back to work because, I don't know, I'd like to feed my children. That might be a good idea. I'd really would like to go back to work. And they were told that they were the most horrible people on the face of the earth and that grandma was going to die because of them. 
But yet all these all these other protesters, totally cool, totally cool, totally cool. The mayor and and what what kills me more is that the mayor of Los Angeles was literally threatening to shut power off and water to businesses that are open that are non-essential. He literally threatened that. Yet the next week he was out hugging protesters without a face mask on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. No. That is garbage. You cannot do that. So it's like it's like okay, seriously. If this is if this is how it is, open everything back up because this is garbage. This shutting everything down because of this is garbage. Hey, look. My my personal uh, thought is if you don't feel comfortable going out, you shouldn't have to go out. You know? The government should have guidelines and say, hey, look, if you really want to serve your customers, this is how you should do it in this, you know, dis social distancing. We, the government, are not going to enforce this anymore by legislature or threat. That's how it should be, because a lot of the businesses, they want to do it. Um... A question though, question though, did um did the whole Black Lives Matter thing um I mean it's just yeah I mean this is an honest question I just simply don't know um do they do they have major protests in your country over Black Lives Matter? So I I did like I said I simply don't know. Yikes, sister to sister sass. When she says that the false sun is dangerous. Right, okay. That's kind of what I figured. I mean, what was really funny was um, they came to my city, which is like little town suburbia. And pretty. And what's funny was like 95% of the protesters were white. <laughs> just these little whitey millennials. I'm just like... What are you doing? Go home. <laughs> You're just virtue signaling. Look at you. You're so cute. <laughs> so come on, Patty. Let's go. We have our own jobs to do gathering information. Hey, wake up, Tia. I was still talking. I was still talking. No one was listening to you anyway. Oh, man, those girls have sass. All right. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for me this morning at 630. I got to get going and uh, get things set up for work. I'm going to have to get to work a little early today. So, all right, Satan. Well, thank you so much for hanging out. I know uh, conversation has been a little interesting this morning, but meh, you know what? This is kind of what happens sometimes. So, anyway, uh, I will be back later tonight. Since I did not stream last night, uh, little buddy boy was, uh, was not having a good day. I promise there will be a... Uh, there will be a little man picture in the Discord today. Um, so I'll be back later on tonight. We will be playing Jade Empire again tonight uh, since I did not get to play it last night. Uh, so anyway, uh, once again, think <laughs> I know. No, he was going to sleep. He just wouldn't stay asleep. You know, it's just whatever. So anyway, thank you all so much for tuning in. I will see you on later tonight. And until then, good night, Isaiah Norris, wherever you are. We're out of here. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.